males, five females, and uh, behind us somewhere in the dark are the cubs and the big male, and they stayed underneath the tree resting, and uh, this lot look like they're on the hunt for dinner. And there were some zebra in this area earlier today when I came through. Dave, can we kill this top light? Sorry, I'm being covered in bugs. At least I'm not Tristan and I don't cry about it. Hey, Trist. Okay. Thank you. Let's keep up with them now. Now, occasionally you'll see uh, the flash of my spotlight. I'm just making sure to see if there's anything up ahead of them. But other than that, we're going to be in the dark tonight with hunting lions so scary. Not really, very exciting. Remember, this is 100% live from Kenya. We are following uh, the gorgeous sausage pride out on the hunt. So make sure the male is the big male coming to join us. He is too. So the cubs have stayed behind, but the big boy is coming up behind us. There he is, right in the distance there. Just out of your light, I'll put mine on. He'll be waiting to take advantage of whatever the girls catch. It is an absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous evening here in the Mara. There is not a breath of wind. The stars are out. There's no sign of us getting drenched, which is always quite nice for us. I mean, I don't mind the rain as long as it's not raining while I'm out here trying to follow lions hunting. Because generally what happens if we lose the lions when that happens. Wild would like to know, or oh, says, uh, the Mara is obviously much green, greener than Juma at the moment, but they thought Kenya was having a drought. The drought's actually been broken, but put it this way, the Mara will always, at all times of the year, be gre greener than Juma. Um, during wet season, dry season, um, it will be greener than Juma. It is just a much higher rainfall area. Um, you would actually describe the, the, the Greater Kruger as arid, where there is, um, the Mara is quite wet. Hello, big girl. So, not starving, but definitely could do with a meal. Yeah, she's a bit stiff in the back hips there. That's quite often with lions when they start getting moving first in the evening. Um, their little injuries and niggles take a while uh, for them to sort of stretch out. Now, I didn't do it, he's wondering, do the big cats have bones in their tails? Indeed, they do. Um, they do have small extensions of the vertebra going into their tails. So they do indeed have bones in their tails. Oh, there we go. Dave, let's have a look. Can you see what that is in, the, in my spotlight? Just have a look if you can make out what that is in the distance. Buffalo or will these buffalo? Buffalo. Now there are seven lions that are big enough to jump on buffalo here, uh, plus the big male coming up the rear. So are we about to see our first Maasai Mara live buffalo hunt? This is so exciting. Now, the lions here seem to be quite allergic to buffalo. Well, the males not so much, but the, the prides. But the fact that the wildebeest haven't been around for a while, and from what I'm seeing at the moment, there's not many zebra about. Uh, they seem to be closer to the river. Um, who knows, maybe the sausages are going to try their luck at some buffalo. I mean, it's a big enough pride. Now, lions hunting buffalo is always extremely exciting.
Jan says, what a sight. All the lions walking like that. I just want to see if they've noticed the buffalo yet. It looks like one female has. I mean, look, big male is still coming up directly behind us. Now, there are two young males here. That's always, always a good sign for buffalo hunting as well. They tend to be slightly more adventurous than the ladies. Now, they might try to target a calf out of the herd. Okay, it looks like we are getting some acknowledgement of the herd ahead. Sorry, Dave. It was a bit of a harsh stop. Looks like we might think about this hunting buffalo malarkey. Can just make out their eyes behind the lines. Oh, quickly across to Tristan, who's got Tumba on the stalk for a primate. Well, it was. Unfortunately, we lost sight of the bush baby. Tumba gave it a little snarl as it jumped around above us and then disappeared into these big tall trees. So he's now down towards the Mulawati riverbed and he was very upset at the bush baby because it was out of his reach. And it seems like he just wants to make friends with everybody. He's followed hyenas around. He's been all over the place this afternoon. And that's why I love spending time with this cat. He's always busy. He's never a cat that spends a lot of time just sitting and he likes to kind of move around. You see, he's sniffing. I wonder if he he didn't have a carcass here that was stolen from him. The way that he's like sniffing and he's loop backing on himself again.